In the past 20 years, cell phones have become integral to daily life, especially for 95% of high school students and teens. Despite providing countless services and abilities, research indicates that the rise in popularity of social media and phones has led to numerous negative effects, such as academic performance and mental health, which have seen one of the largest declines since pre-COVID. And I just saw over the years, like their attention erode, their interaction with one another, just being present in the moment of the classroom um, was all just kind of deteriorating. In response, 7% of schools have moved to ban phones for non-academic uses, with California introducing a bill in February banning phones excluding use in emergency, medical needs, and educational purposes. In addition, several other districts have invested in phone locking technologies like yonder pouches, which have been adopted widely, magnetically lock each student's phones in pouches until the end of the school day. Despite short-term success, many of these solutions present different concerns from students, parents, and even teachers who depend on phones to teach their curriculum. More about learning to use technology as a tool to problem solve, which is what you're going to need to do for the rest of your life, right? It's what you're going to need to do for future learning, for future work, for future leadership, right? And how do we get used to using these tools in a way that helps us solve problems? Not only do the phones being unlocked enhance learning opportunities by allowing access to educational materials and learning platforms, but it also provides a platform where students can easily facilitate better communication regarding assignments and other activities. Now at uh, Miracosta specifically, I think a lot of our device use does have some great potential, but again, only when it's used responsibly. I think it's important to understand that if we want students to use their personal devices, it should more so be as a tool versus the negative impacts of how it's been used. With the evolving landscape of media and technology, phones can enhance education by providing access to resources that support learning while also having the potential to have detrimental effects on students' mental health and learning ability if not managed properly. Because of this, teachers should focus on integrating this new technology into curriculums and guiding students on how to use these devices effectively and responsibly within the classroom rather than banning them entirely. And that's why this is so tricky because we want to keep talking about the device, right? We want to keep talking about this thing and, and whether we allow it or not allow it. But it's not that simple. It's not about whether you allow it or not. It's about what you do with it. For the Mustang Morning News, this is Jet Purser and Nathan Inouye.